Hello and welcome to this little video where I'll be showing you how I hunt. So that's why Belk is on half health, so I'd rather try and look for a calf that'll either stop the mom from running so I can regain my stamina, or a low health elk. To let yourself in the basement. If you go after calves and mothers, you've got more control or low, very low health mothers. Like an eighth of the health, you've got more control of your elk. So here I grab a calf and I let go as soon as I hear the mother behind me. And I back up here to make them run. I let go because it was doing more damage to me than I was doing to it. But it carries on running instead of stops, so I go and find another bite. Oh, I can't see the mom, so I let go. Here I was just trying to get the mother to hit her calf, which um, failed. And here I try again, which again fails. And then I get trampled by the mom, not something you want to do. I'm going for another bite, I back up when mom comes around. I let them stay there while I regain stamina, and then I back up to make them run again. I let go when I can't see the mother, and the baby's doing more damage to me. And then I'm trying to get them to run, and I put myself between the herd and them. Here I let go because the baby was doing more damage to me than I was doing to it. Putting myself between the herd and then backing up makes them run towards the herd and past you, so you do not have to spend as much stamina trying to catch up. Here I see the mom in the head and I know she's going to take a second to turn around and face me, so I of course grab the calf. Now, the calf runs in the opposite direction I was planning on or preparing it to, so I obviously have to run to catch up a bit. But luckily the calf's so low on health that it's quite slow. So there the mom is ahead, I take the final bite, and then I immediately run away from the carcass in case the mother comes back and tramples me. Now I decide to go for another calf just to see how rusty I am with hunting calves on accurate. the elk to run and then I pick a calf. I don't go for the fallen elk because sometimes the elk are just low on stamina and they'll be quite healthy. Plus I've got a calf that's pretty low on health here so that's why I didn't go for the fallen elk. So as you can see the mother and calf don't run when you're close but as soon as you back away they run. And again I use the tactic of putting myself between them and the herd because I know they're going to run to the herd to catch up and so they'll want to they'll need to run past me to catch up to the head. I hear the mom coming from my left, I let go, the mother chases me and I back away. And then I continue to run. Here was the calf fell so I grabbed it and I was looking around a little frantically you can see from the mother because I couldn't see where the mother was but eventually I heard her and spotted her and let go in time. Mom goes ahead, so I go in for another bite. And I somehow managed to not get kicked. Um, and the calf starts running again. I back it away a little because I can hear the mom's behind me and I don't want to latch on until I see the mother goes ahead like so. But yeah, that's how I hunt. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, and I will do my best to answer. Bye!